Hi everyone, it's Sue. Um, I have a mess, as per usual. I just thought I'd turn the camera on and I'm just having a bit of a play around with some watercolours and uh, some watercolour paper. I'm loving watercolour paper um, printing on it and that type of thing, coffee dyeing it. So I thought I might try and do some watercolouring on it. I was inspired by someone on Pinterest and I can't... Um, tell you who it is actually because it's in Russian but I'm going to have a little bit of a play and do a similar sort of style make it my own I'm working on some journals at the moment that are very um like got earthy colors and let's just say probably themed under the Australian sun type theme I guess just to give you a little bit of a hint um so basically I'm just playing and I thought I'll bring you along with me and this could become an absolute total mess. Uh, it could be, become something exciting. But wait, we'll wait and see what happens. Just as I said, I'm just playing. So all I've done is I've cut, um, I've cut some tags out of an A3 sheet of paper. I've just got some um, cheap photo, uh, not photocopy paper, what do you call it? Watercolor paper. I'll just grab the booklet. Um, so this is what I use. It's the uh, Anko brand, which is a Kmart brand. Um, there's 24 pages in here and it's 180 GSM. So this is an A3 size pad. They also, and it was only $5. So um, pretty good value to play around with. And if you mess it up, it doesn't really matter so much. They also come in a a4 size, which I like to purchase to put through my printer and print on. They didn't have any of that. Um, the other day when I went there so they're struggling to get items in obviously like everybody else so I'm just sort of cut the A3 sheet down to um, most of my, all, all my tags are three inches wide and they range from um, five and three quarters up to six and a quarter only because I didn't measure um, the width of the paper and I just cut them and until I uh, worked out that basically five and three quarters was the halfway mark but it doesn't matter they all they will all be able to be used so I've just sort of put down a little bit of watercolor on here and dried it before I decided that I would turn the camera on um, and this one's pretty much dry and these are the off cuts from the A3 size when I cut the three inches so um, now I've got something in mind for these so they're still drying at the moment um, and I do prefer to, when I'm watering, colouring, water colouring, I do prefer to let it dry naturally if I can because you get all the nice runs and that type of thing. If you use your heat tool, you're sort of blowing any excess water so you don't sort of get just a natural dry. But that's just me. Um, I guess if it's wet, you can sort of mani mani manipulate where the colour goes and, and that sort of thing. But I'm not a watercolour artist by any stretch of the imagination, so um, I'm just playing and we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to lay, um, put my glasses on, I guess, to start with. And let me just make sure that we're in camera. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to lay a little bit of water down here as well. And if it overlaps on that... Um, green that's fine so I'm just going to bring in this color that I've got on here and it is um, English red which is a uh, schmink brand so um, and I'm just going to dot it just put a dot and just see see where it runs I mean that's too I've got too much on my brush I don't I'm just going to help it along a little bit here. And see, I've got way too much water there. So I'm just going to um, pull some of that back up with a dry brush. Um, that's what I've still um, getting used to. I need a palette as well. 
getting used to, you know, how much do I add to my brush, that type of thing. So, so I'm just laying that down there and then I'm just going to lay the same colour beside the green here. And same thing once again, I've got way too much water there. I'm just going to pull some of that back up. And I just got a, um, a paper paper towel beside me just to get excess water and excess colour. So I'm just going to sort of play with that a little bit. Just manipulate that a little bit around. And I'm just going to pop that to the side to dry and I'm just going to work on another one. So this one um, as well. I might actually do it a different colour. Um, let me just get some water down there. And I'm going to use a yellow ochre. Um, so I don't know whether that's too bright, but anyway, we're just playing and um, experimenting we'll see how we'll see how it goes now I've still got yellow on my brush but that's okay so I'm just going to add some water and see that's probably the consistency that I probably wanted um, I'm just going to draw some of that that color trying to water that down a little bit I've probably gone too far into the green there for my liking but anyway that's okay as I said I don't, I don't really know how this is going to turn out so I'm just popping that to the side to dry and then I'm just going to add um, some of that yellow color on one of these cards here because I'm going to cut these into little strips and add them to the tag So I hope you're all doing really well. We've had um, a second wave of uh, coronavirus come through um, Australia, starting in Victoria. Um, they're not doing really well, real well at all. Um, really feel for them. New South Wales have started to pick up speed with their cases. And then we've just recently, two days ago, had... <sighs> two young women that um, falsified documents when they came back from Victoria and into Queensland and they have both got COVID and also one of their friends. So um, nursing homes have been shut down again so we can't see Jim's mum and oh, it's just a total mess. So um, really, really disappointing. But we've just got to ride ride the wave i guess and and um do the right thing so just it's a shame that more people can't do the right thing but that's that's the way it is isn't it people just have to push boundaries um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pause the video for a minute and i'm just going to dry that off so that i can actually just move on and, and have a play and make one of these tags so i'll be back in two tech okay, so i've just dried those 
Um, and then I realised that I do actually have a palette for mixing, so I grabbed that out. Um, now, I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do. Um, this has probably ended up being a little bit, this colour here is a little bit more subtle than what I was hoping. I was probably hoping more this colour, but I'm going to just have a play and just see. So I've just got some... Um, white just case a cheap um, acrylic paint here and I'm just going to um, really water it down I'm just going to put some um, white white splotches on here so I'm just going to do that make it really really watery I mean not so watery that you can't like you don't notice the the spots so I hope paint everywhere okay so let me just pop them to the side for a minute and we should get rid of the, the clean tag so I don't have paint everywhere so I've just got paint everywhere all over my desk now that's okay so I, I do want paint on these need a different brush I think to be doing splatters like that see this one's just soaked right in I've probably got it too um, too watery now possibly I'm not even getting any off my brush it's going every onto the um, card it's going all over the board and not on the card okay that's probably I probably want a uh, brighter white than that but anyway that'll do for the minute um, I'll just clean this up again. And I probably need to just dry these before I start working on them. Um, I'm going to use um, this book here. Um, from Minte Papers. It's called The Wing Book and it's got um, birds and butterflies and bugs all throughout. So I want to use some of those. Okay. Um, so you can't even see any of that white now. Let me have a look here. I think the problem is that I've just I've added too much water to the um, to the acrylic paint. Let me see if I can just make it a little bit just a little bit thicker.
I do actually have a um, Tim Holtz. He bought out a brush particularly for um, flicking. It's probably more for inks. I don't know, but um, so you can't even see that one. Okay, well, I've probably got it all over my face because I can feel it flicking up on my face as I do that. So, um, all right, I'm going to let them dry. I'm going to clean off my board and I, if they aren't dry, I'm just going to pause the video again <clears throat> just briefly and um, just dry them with the heat tool. So I might just do that and I will be back. Okay, so... They're pretty much dry. Some of these splotches are a little bit wet still, but um, I'm not worried about that. I'll start on this one here first. So I'll just pop them to the side. Let me just pop my paints to the side so I've got a bit more room. And I've just dug these out. I've picked these up at a um, op shop here and they've got all those sort of natural colors as well. So I might bring some of those um, threads into here as well. So, um, okay. Now, we just, I'm going to, I think, now, as I said, I, this is just crafted along with me, um, not really sure what I'm doing. So this is a tag board, tag punch board. I don't use it the way that it's probably supposed to. It just, you've got to take this out, put it in, and it doesn't stay in there. So it's annoying. So I just cheat and I line it up. I mean, I use it all the time. It's dirty. Like it's just from glue and paint and all that sort of thing being um, put on it. And I just use my uh, Stanley knife and I just cut the tag um, through the slot there. So being watercolour and only cheap watercolour paper, this is like it's a bit fluffy when you do that. But um, I just love the convenience of this because I don't have a straight eye, so I can't get the both corners exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to be make it a little bit um, dramatic and just put... Some darker color around here and I'll be um, I will be sewing around these as well so I'll be backing them with um, coffee dyed paper I've got over my little you know like you can't have stark white with coffee dyed paper and I just decided why can't you so I'm just going to do it so I'm just going to um, glue this on here Probably could have had this all done. And I'll probably have to sew off camera as well because I've got all this stuff just packed on, piled on top of my sewing machine at the moment. So I don't, I can't get to it really. So. I'm just going to, see that's quite wet there okay so I'm gonna glue this one down as well while I'm going may as well do the two of them and I haven't cut the edges corners of the tag on this one anyway that's all right I'll do it once I've cut them out so I'll just cut that out A uh, little bit of good news. Um, I think I said in one of my previous videos that I was going for a job interview um, or I'd been for a job interview. Uh, I went, this is today is Friday and I went on this Tuesday, just passed and I got confirmation last night that I have been accepted for the position. Um, so that's very exciting. Exciting and scary because it's basically a full-time position. Um, I, I mean, I've 
been I've worked casual for probably 14 years now so I've never really um, known from one week to the next you know what I'll be working so it'll be good to go to regular hours um, just extra hours I just I'm not sure how I'll go <laughs> how I'll go and it's I've gone back to it's an administrative um, assistant position um, with um, the view to become a um, a plan manager and um, support coordinator in the disability sector so I'm excited um, keen to learn some new skills and um, yeah see where it can take me it just means that unfortunately my crafting days of crafting all day are gone but that's okay um i tend to work better under pressure um and i probably the busier i am the more i seem to get done i don't know how that works but that just seems to be uh seems to be the case so i'm hoping that it stays like that <laughs> and you will still see me on a regular basis um and I'll just continue working on my website and adding items to my website as I can. So, um, yeah, I'm not not leaving the community. But, I mean, when it comes to, you know, as I said previously, I lost my job due to COVID. Um, and I've basically been unemployed for four months. So it will be, I love people and I love, I love working and, so it will be really, really good to, to get back into it again. I think I'm going to be struggling a bit mentally, as in mentally exhausted for a few weeks because um, it's a new field for me and um, it's just going to be all totally different. So there's going to be lots to learn, lots to take in and it's a new new business that's opened up in town. So the role is new, which is probably one good thing. You know, I haven't had, don't have to follow in someone's footsteps and um, I can work with the manager and we can set up uh, things the way that works best for us. So so that's my good news. I, I start in, I've got two more days at home. So um I'm hoping to get a few videos done in advance and get some a bit of crafting time in and a bit of relaxing and um, just get my, my mind back in the working um, mode, as in going out to work mode. So, um, yeah, that's my news. Just thought I'd share that with you. I'll get on with this now. So I'm just going to cut. I don't want these quite so thick. Um, probably half an inch, which is about there, I think. Maybe whatever that measures. I don't know what that measures. I won't throw that out just at the moment. We might use that. Uh, and I'll do this one. So this one. I probably should have done another one of this. I might do it a little bit narrower maybe. Let's do that. I wish I had a torn them now. So I don't even know what size. Sorry, I'm just this is what I do. This is how I Yeah, so it's 3 inches. Um, I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. I'm 
think I just want to rough that up a little bit. And that's the beauty of this watercolour paper is it so easily um, does that. I just don't want the edges quite so crisp. Tear that off because it's too wide. I'm really cutting into that, but that's okay. That's fine. For that, and I want a yellow and a green one. So this one is just going to have to have a narrower green. one of those um, actual distress tools because I'm hopeless I'll probably end up cutting myself I tore this end because I quite like that but I don't I mean I don't know which end is going to be covered up or whatever at the moment so I'm just going to turn the heater off. I'm boiling here now. It felt really cold earlier on. Now I'm having a hot flush. I'll just get rid of all that fluff off there. I got this board the other day too. It was really cheap. It was only $15, which is good. But when you clean it, it's got a really, I don't know, it's really sticky. I don't know whether it's meant to feel like that. Okay, so I'm going to also go around the edges with very roughly with a um, little bit of darker ink. I'm just using the residue on this, not re-dipping it. So just want these strips defined a little bit. Where's the other piece? Okay. I've got fluff everywhere again. So I'll just work on one at a time, hey? I just want to, um, I don't really know what I want to do. I just want to sort of layer these bits down. Um, I'm just thinking I might add a little bit of um, text script or, some, script or something on those. So this is one of the, um, a new stamp that I've just recently purchased. So because I haven't put it away yet, it becomes the lucky one that I use. Oh, when they're new, they're so hard to get off, aren't they? I've got to be really careful because I have actually torn some stamps before doing this, trying to get them off the backing sheet. Oh, wow. Actually, I'm not going to mess around with that. I'll do that later. Um, I just got this one. I'm loving this one at the moment. I've been using it a fair bit. So um, this I got from a... Um, just a crafty stash site on 
um, Facebook. And it doesn't, I can't get it off here either, so I just use it like this as it is. So now I just need to get into my drawer here. Wow, I'm so organised, aren't I? I'm going to spill my water everywhere. Um, I don't really want to go um, too dark. And I'm, this one's a, a new one, so it's really um, quite juicy. This one is nearly almost out of ink. So I think I'll just use that. And I'm just going to just stamp it randomly. So I just wanted like a little bit of something on there. And while I've got it out, I may as well just do these other two as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, do I risk it and do a little bit of stamping? Actually, what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to add a butterfly on here. So what I might do is just add a little bit here and a little bit here, just so that we see a little bit of it. Not too much, um, just a little bit of something. Okay, so that's always good to keep, you know, if these are, I mean, this really doesn't stamp very well at all if you're trying to get a good impression, but I love keeping it for that sort of thing, just so that you get a little bit of colour. Okay. So, so see how much of a difference that makes? It just sort of lifts the... Okay, so what I need to do is work out now which butterfly which butterfly I'm going to use or I probably should have worked this out beforehand, hey? I actually like this one. So I think I'm going to just grab that one. I roughly cut that out. While I'm going, will I choose the other one as well? Um, so many decisions. I think I, oh, I don't know. I think I like this one here. Right, go with that one. Okay. So, I will pause while I cut them out. Um, I'll be right. Okay, so I'm back. While I was at it. Um, I sewed around these because I'm going to add things to the side and I don't particularly want to um, sew through them. So I'm just trimming off my threads there. And I'm loving how they're looking. Even, you know, like that, they look quite nice, don't they? And then I swapped, decided on the butterflies. So the that one I originally chose for there, I'm going to put on this one. And this one I'm going to put on that one. So I'm going to just add a little bit of ink around the edges of the butterflies I don't just so they sort of stand out um, a little bit more I can't say to take the white edges away can I because this has got a white background anyway it just defines them a little bit more okay um, now I think Okay, so I'm just going to tear that edge there. And 
And I think I'm just going to glue those down. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Now I'm thinking of putting um, the butterfly in this sort of area here. So I still want to be able to see some of this. I'm just roughing that up a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna put that there. I'm just using my fingernail just to sort of um, pull that up, roughen that up a little bit so you can see how it sort of makes it, gives it a little bit of a texture. Um, on the tag. Okay, so I'll just do this one first because if I absolutely hate it, I won't do a um, similar thing for the other one. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, I want to get some thread so, and I do normally keep all my threads and I had, when I tidied up, I had a container with a heap of threads and that that I've kept. And do you think I can find it? No, <laughs> no idea. Absolutely no idea where it is. So I just wanted like a, um, do I need more than that? I can never get, um, like some ladies, they, they do their little nests or whatever, for want of a better word, and they just look so beautifully put together. Messy, but, you know, like a beautiful mess, whereas mine just looks like a mess <laughs> when I do mine. So, so you can see why I sewed around, because I didn't want to sort of have to sew over all of this. So that's not too bad. So we'll have a keep that there. And I wanted to... <clears throat> pull out a couple of these tapestry threads. Um, do I want to go, or if I, maybe if I've got a colour like this, might be nice. Um, so that might even be nice. I'm having a look in the other one. Too many choices now. I was going to get rid of these. I'm glad I didn't because I just wasn't sure that I... Is that the same as that one? I think it is. All right, I think I like this one. I think I'm going to use some of this as well. I'm thinking I actually want maybe a little bit more of this or I can just maybe... I think I want a little bit more of that um, sewing machine thread. So I'm just dragging it out of my bobbin and you know that I'll be swearing later when I go to sew and there's no, no bobbin thread. It's one of the things I hate doing is filling a bobbin. I don't know why. Just do. Okay, so I'm just going to put that like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, bob some, pop some glue from the top um, just to sort of hold that in place and push it down so that it actually goes onto the tag. So all these little extra bits I can sort of tuck in later on or glue down, whatever. Um, Just trying to think what I've got. I'm just going to push this down so that the glue goes down onto the tag and then just actually grab that, that thread. So you can see it's actually adhering there. So I just clean that off. And then I'm just going to pull some of this. And this is um, 
I don't even know what brand it is. It doesn't have anything on there, but, um, you know, I nearly got rid of these um, because I just thought, oh, I'm never going to use them. But I'm glad I didn't now. And I'm not worried if I'm um, getting this all in a knot because I'd probably only use it for this sort of thing anyway. So I'm just sort of wanting to add a couple of different layers. And I don't like that because I think it's too dark. Okay, so that's good. Let's go with something like this then. say it's too dark and that's dark but it's a, a finer thread so it um it's not as prominent okay. let's just have a look Sorry, I just thought someone was knocking on my door. Okay, so I'm just going to bite the bullet and I'm just going to glue that, this bit of um, tapestry wool down. Just holding it down. So you might have to sort of go back in and just add a little bit. The only thing is if you use your fingers, you sort of don't really, it just doesn't stick because it sticks to your fingers and you end up pulling, see, pulling the, the um, wool away. Okay. So thinking of adding that, let me just have a look at this one again. No, I think I like that. So I'm going to glue this little fella down as well. I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue on there. Just so that he goes in. And I'm going to have his wings coming off the side of the tag there a bit. I'm just holding that in place. And I probably would have liked to have that maybe a little bit closer, that piece. And you could probably even have three strips of of that um, watercolour paper there. I think that's quite cute. I quite like that. And I'm thinking I might put a word or something down here. Or maybe even in here. So let's just do this one first. And see how my fingers had glue on them and they've just caught all that and pulled that out. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there and just drape that up. Just drape that up and let it grab onto the glue. Okay. So I'm going to put the green on the top this time. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. green down and once again I'm just going to pull that um, and see how I've torn that that doesn't matter I want the texture and I want that that messy look Just going to put these a little bit closer maybe just drag this one back a bit so i'm just going to cut the end of this one off we're not going to see the straight edge so so i just don't want them particularly in a a straight line so i'm just going to pull that um probably be easier than trying to do it once it's glued down so just pull them those sides up a bit And I'm 
just going to pull a bit more out of this bobbin. Let's pull a bit extra this time. And I'm going to pop, just pop some glue down here this time and I'm just going to put it on and now that I've just got that first one done. Messy. And maybe we might go something like this colour, just so it's a completely different um, it's a contrast. These are really nice. I like them actually, and I'm glad I put the, um, the the little bit of script on there. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Let's put a little bit down there. a decent amount on the butterfly let's have this one going in this way this way then you can lift the the wings as well so that they look quite dimensional oh wow I am so happy with those they look really good if I do say so myself um, at the moment, I'm, I'm just going to look at them and um, decide whether I want to put an eyelet and some sari silk or something in them. Um, I like them as they are. So I think for now, I am just going to leave them like that. And um, I don't think I'm going to add any more white. I mean, here could have probably have a few more white splotches, but I know, I mean, look at my hands and I know that it's all over my face. I could feel it flicking all over my face earlier. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave that for fear of wrecking the whole kit and caboodle. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think they look really, really quite lovely. So um, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I'm sorry for two tags if it is long. Um, hopefully you can have a little bit of a play around. And as I said, I've just backed them with coffee dyed paper. I like that um, real contrast of white and, you know, white and bright with the the vintage, vintage sort of style. So um, this one probably could have had a bit more thread on it, but I love them. I think I'm really, really happy with them. So I hope you like them. I hope you get to have a go. I'm going to go off camera now and, and make quite a few more um, while the the mojo is there. I may as well run with it. So um, yeah, if you don't see as much of me, um, as I said, I am now going to be a working full-time working woman um, but don't worry I will still be here I love what I do and as I said I work better under pressure so you may even see more of me how funny would that be all right guys look take care of yourselves and until next time I hope you get a little bit of crafting time in bye-bye <laughs>